On the left is a transformer that produces 12 volts AC at the secondary and it is connected to on the right a 5k load resistor and I'm going to be using an oscilloscope to look directly across the load like this. This is what that 12 volts AC looks like. Now I'm going to add a diode in this circuit and notice how the diode is in this circuit. We've got a straight line and then we've got an arrow. Well that straight line if we take a look at the diode is that silver band on the diode and this is what it looks like. No negative peaks. Now I have added a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor and notice that the top plate is marked positive. That means that this is a polarized capacitor. Let's take a look at what the oscilloscope looks like across the load resistor. And here we have a sawtooth wave. Getting back to our circuit here, this is what's going on. When the top part of that secondary is positive and the bottom is negative, the diode at the top there is forward bias and electrons can flow through it. And notice that they flow against the diode's arrow. Now let's take a look at that electrolytic capacitor. Electrons flow up from ground and onto the plate of that capacitor. And what happens here is the electrons on the upper plate get repelled and electrons flow through the diode. And what this does is it's charging that capacitor. Now let's take a look at the load resistor. Electrons come up through the ground, through the resistor, and then through the diode. Now when the polarity of the secondary is like this, the diode is reverse bias and no electrons flow through it. Now that electrolytic capacitor that was charged is now discharging through the load resistor. The negative plate at the bottom, all those electrons are trying to get to the positive plate and now the electrons have to go through the load resistor to get there. And that's the ramp part of the sawtooth wave. Here I have added another 100 microfarad capacitor and a resistor between the two. This is a classic Pi filter configuration. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Here I'll raise the line so you can see it. And it is flat. We now have DC. Those little bitty spikes there I live close to a radio station so I'm getting some noise. But we do now have DC going through that 5K ohm load resistor. Let's take a look at how this works. Now when the output of the secondary has positive on the top and negative on the bottom, the diode is forward biased and electrons will flow through the diode. Now we can take a look at both of our electrolytic capacitors. Again, the electrons are coming up through the ground and electrons collecting on the bottom plate are pushing electrons off the top plate of the capacitor and that is charging both capacitors. And we 
also have electrons flowing through the load. Now, when the output of the transformer is negative on the top, positive on the bottom, the diode is reverse bias and no electrons are flowing through it. Now we have two capacitors supplying electrons going through the load and notice that always the electrons are flowing through the load in the same direction from negative to positive. Now we have smooth DC going through our load resistor. This is a very popular configuration for a half wave rectifier and this is physically what it looks like, the one I used for this video. Thanks for watching.